I had ordered some of these lights right here. So, sound like we got air back here leaking out somewhere. Might be that uh, uh, Lebanon valve. So, uh, we do have lights on the side, but we're going to end up putting some more lights. We do have 150 gallon tanks, so big tanks that means two tanks, 300 gallon tanks, 150 on each side. Um, I think that's pretty much just a condo, as y'all can see. Big condo. Um, I think this is a two box, maybe I don't know because I don't know if the battery pack is in the back. No, so one side, this got to be the battery pack on this side, right here in this tube box, and the other side is, um, well, battery pack on this side, tube box on the other side, you can put other stuff on the other side. And this is called the half step. So they do have some of these that have the full fern that comes back there, and then you got another step. So you get like two more extra tube boxes on both sides, plus these two in the front where which one would be better so you actually have one over there one here and one here so three two boxes so a lot of flatbeds use it also we got to do something with these lights try to take care of them days y'all can see how hazy this is well i can't see out of this and this the parking lot and this the other one so we got to go get some things and sand it down it's missing that phone light but it got this one over here it's hazy but it's not even working. So they got these big ball lights. These are doggone road lights. But one is working and one is not. So that's how I actually got home with that one big one. And that's how I was able to see it. So we're definitely going to fix that up today. Uh, so, so we climb inside. Like I said, I'm doing this now. Before we get junky in here when I throw everything in here. So we do... And my e-logs are still going, so I ain't finished yet and cut them off. So this is a 13 speed, 13 speed stick. So you got the high side here, and then you can shift the gears right here to different gears. So 10 speed, love it. Y'all want to see the dash? A little bit got a lot of gauges. You got a turbo gauge, ply gauge, oil gauge, volt gauge, or voltage. Uh, I think one is the oil temp and one is for the oil. So you got the RPM gauge, speed gauge, axle, axle, um, temps, air, fuel, air, air. So one is for the track and trailer air, which is them two up there. And this one, I think, is for how much, when you push the air for the pressure, see it move, how much air pressure you're putting on. Then... Coming down here, over here on the other side, you got a transmission gauge, to tell, tip, and then you got a weight gauge. So it's, this one comes with a weight gauge so you can uh, weigh your axle on your back drive down. This ain't for the whole truck, y'all. So I got to learn where this supposed to be. But with this load, I got 44,000. It's right there. So I got to get a point where it goes to that certain point. I got to know that point. Then I know that, A, it's over on that axle. I need to slide before I go with it. Then you got all of this. Cruise control, Jake brake. Oh my God, Jake brakes are uh, loud. <laughs> I think they are straight pipe. And this to turn on the lights in the inside. Windshield wiper, headlights, marker lights, road lights, and optional. Then you got all this where you can see what your fuel mileage is, trip miles, leg mile, and all that. Heat and air, radio. Mirror heat, footwell, panel light. And on this side, you got the shroud, over shroud, and you had a utility lamp. So that's pretty much it on the dash. So let me go and 
turn this around and I kind of go, oh yeah, you do get a trash can right here, which I never use, and an ashtray, which I don't use, two cup holders, and this little thing right here. Uh, I bought this little tray right here at Walmart so I can put a cup in because my cup would do like this <laughs> and spill over. So I bought this one since I ain't had one. It's a little cubby hole thing. Leather seats with armrests. Y'all can see um, trimmed in, um, well, it's not really wood, but it's like plastic, but it looks like wood, so it looks pretty nice. Y'all seen that when I had the other truck. So you got it there, trimmed, and then trimmed here. And then add a little touch. I put the same right in here and then up top up here it's kind of wood grain two different windows in here so it's not a full size window okay so you got the wood grain cabinet up here for storage let me back up the wood grain storage back here back here i mean up here so you got one here you can put stuff in then you got a little pocket right here you can put stuff in and then right here then you got this old and this always seems to fall down all the time so i don't so this always seems to fall down so i end up buying that stuff that you spray in there and i pushed it up and that's how i fixed the other one so you got a cubby hole you can put stuff here cubby hole stuff you can put here all right then you got this cubby hole i thought i had the light turned on i do but it ain't bright so you got where well, you can put stuff in here use i put i think the last one i put the coffee maker in here then down here there's a cabinet right here get this out of the way you got a top cabinet right here with a shelf in here and you can put stuff in here but i think i took this cabinet out and put my other refrigerator in here because i had two refrigerators now this truck comes with a refrigerator right here a little small one and you can't put a lot of stuff in here as y'all can see you can really put nothing freezer ain't really much of nothing no space so since i'm going to stay out and also this is a drawer Y'all can see, so you can put stuff in here. Y'all can see. And then you got a little space right here to put some stuff right here. The same shelf over here. There's only the refrigerator in here. This one has a cabinet. But we're taking this out. We're going to put our full, full refrigerator here. And I think I put the microwave on top over here. And then I went up here with um, my coffee stuff. My, well, you might, my coffee and my coffee station. Okay, so then also you got a cabinet up here. You can put stuff in here in a little cubby hole here. Then you flip back around here, you have the closet. So a nice big closet right here. Put enough clothes in there for two weeks. Then you guys have also got these little shelves right here to put a little stuff. Then you got a top bunk. I don't have a top mattress. And, and it's good I don't because I would have took it out anyway because on the top mattress, I'm going to put the kicker box up here. Y'all remember the system that I had in Black Hawk and all my cooking stuff. So I put the system in the middle with the speakers, put my cooking stuff over here and whatnots over here. So this make good for putting stuff in. Then, of course, my bed, y'all know I got to have crimson stuff. Excuse me, not made up. Got <laughs> throwing everything back and forth on here. And, you know, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, long hood. Y'all can see that long blue hood out there. So, yeah, I like the long hood trucks. They ride good, ride good, ride smooth. So with that said i think that's about it y'all so i wanted to give y'all that quick view of because it's, it's going to take me about a week to get everything settled in here how i want to move stuff so i basically throw everything in here on the bed on top bunk all these seats and floor all need the bunk until it take me about a week to get everything done so i wanted to get this video out before i started putting all this stuff in here so there you have it my my new 2016 freightliner Carnata, which is called blue beast I named this Blue Beast. So with that said, y'all, y'all, y'all stay tuned. If you ain't new to the if you're new to the channel, think about hitting that thumbs up and subscribing. And we keep you great content like this all the time. Every Friday, I try to drop truck videos every Friday if I can. Sometimes I miss a week, just depending on how I feel. <laughs> but anyway, with that said, y'all, y'all know what it is. Stay in life, truck life, and 18-wheel life. Peace. We out of here.